It's collection time! Hello, welcome to another collection video. Which, it says itself, it's about the collection. Haha! <laughs> so, um, I usually do, did like a collection video every couple of years. And uh, recently, you, you guys just asked me about it. Hey, what's up? You gonna do a collection video? And I was just like, I don't know. So basically, um, because it takes a lot of work, obviously, filming all this stuff. Because if you're a little bit aware of previous collection videos, I do have a wide variety of different things to offer and filming all of it is can be kind of exhausting so i'm trying to keep it as short as possible and i know it's an over an hour long but i'm just trying to go over everything and not stop at every figure so obviously if you have some more questions about any of the figures let me know in the comments below and also i want to say one thing the youtube algorithm is not favorable to these long videos so i'm really asking you i'm asking you to watch the entire video or at least as much as possible, obviously, as much you can bear. I don't want to force anybody, but like really, really super duper 500% appreciate it if you watch the entire video, if you like it and subscribe to it. I would be highly thankful because it took me a lot of work to film everything um, as best as I can to edit it and even like redub it. I redubbed it after the recording because sometimes I'm, like, I'm in the hallway and the audio is freaking awful. So I was just like, all right, we're going to do this like that. I'm going to try to make the best video i can and show you everything and that's really it i've already wasted too much of your time thank you very much let's get into the collection 2022 edition so let's get right into it we got old school transformers on top a halo war talk sonic and knuckles and also like a halo ghost right over there and moving right along sticking to the transformers we got masterpiece transformers the Decepticons, again, all the ones I care about, and the Autobots, they just made a whole lot more of those. All of it masterpiece, except for this uh, Magic Square, Unlicensed Transformer, and the Amazing Yamaguchi Optimus Prime. And also this one was uh, given to me from Kim for birthday gift, but uh, that was also a different line. But I want to give a shout out to, uh, to all the gifts. We're going to have a lot of these. So moving on to the One Piece shelf, this is all Mega House One Piece figures except for the two girls over here, which again were birthday gifts from my buddy Zach. Shoutouts to him. And then we got a miscellaneous um, Halo shelf. On the right side, you got mostly Play Arts Kai. In the front, it's all like kind of McFarlane toys. And on the left hand, in the back, you got the Prophets, which were from Joyride. Then you got Pokemon. Uh, a bunch of D-Arts, SH Figure Arts Pokemon, mostly. You got the Tomi Machamp and the Snorlax. Uh, Nendoroid and uh, again Mishmash, two Lucarios, one from Mega House, one from Figure Arts, and moving on to Batman. I am the Knight or Vengeance, depending on. It's all DC collectibles except for Goldar and Lord Zed here in the back and a random Melga Solid 4 snake. Do you like giant robots? Because we have a bunch of them. This is Power Rangers Legacy Collection, Thunderzord, Tigerzord, and then in the back we got the Go Kaiga or Super Mega Force. This is this actually a Korean version, I think. Old school Shogun Megazord and the Super Mini Plus Shogun Megazord and the Lightning Collection Lord Zed, Golda, King Swings, and Lord Draken. More Megazords, Legacy Collection, always on the right, and then the classic one on the left with um i love the falcon Megazord, by the way such a cool zord then uh, you got this super robot shogokin uh the old school Megazord, dino Megazord, and this one was from shinkanja or Sub samurai or whatever it was called uh again the uh, classic ones left and right left's the old one right's the new one keeping it in mecha style we got a whole mishmash of different mechas from different shows on the right hand side you got some evangelion from marfax or like um, another Bandai line, a super robot, something, something, something. Samurai Pits Cats in the back, Guren Lagan, some mechas with uh, Yoko, Fraulein, Revoltech. And on the left hand side, Jaguti and Anubis and Anaki. And keeping it with the robots, you got an old school Gundam design. And the Kaijus, moving it over to the Kaijus, Godzilla. Gojira, actually, SH Monster Arts, and also Gamera. Because he's a turtle and I like turtles. And also, there's Mr. Stay Pub in the back. Is he a kaiju or is he a ghost? I don't know. And also, we got King Kong. Can't miss that one. Boy oh boy, is this a big mashup of different things over here. It's mostly Marvel, but also DC kind of mixed in. And it's, you got Marfex, you got SH Figure Arts, you got Amazing Yamaguchi. 
a whole bunch of mishmash. You got the X-Man on the left with some Spider-Man in the back, Iron Man. Even got this Figma Hulk over here and uh, Wonder Woman and another Iron Man and also Mickey Mouse from Android because Disney owns Marvel, of course. Keeping it with superheroes, we're going on to a more Batman folks shelf. On the right hand side, you got a mostly McFarlane toys. But as we move over, we got the Marfax Batman Hush lineup. We got Hush Catwoman and Batman himself. We got some movie Batman for mostly SH figures and some more McFarlane toys in the back. Moving over to a little bit of fan service, and it's gonna be happening a lot. You got the DC Girls. This was like a DC Bishojo lineup. I got all my favorite Starfire, Raven, Supergirl, Zatanna, and this Catwoman also, by the way. And yeah, Zatanna, her magic wand broke off, so that's why she kind of holds it weirdly like that. It's glued together, and that's the only way why it sticks together. But um, yeah, Iron Studios, Catwoman, Black Canary, Huntress, and uh, Poison Ivy, and this random Hakufu in the back. Beast Wars! My favorite Transformer lineup from the Masterpiece figures. I, I've always been a huge sucker for Beast Wars, so as such, this is all Masterpiece. Uh, with the only exception of on the left, you got Rat Trap, you got also Rhinox, and Wespinator. When are we getting finally some Masterpiece from those? But yeah, this shelf is one of my favorites. Are you ready for some Storm Collectibles? Because we're diving right in. Uh, we have a bit of a mishmash over here on the left hand side. We got the SNK Classics with Rugal in the back and Heihachi carry ready for action. Uh, also, the Shao Kahn and Spawn from McFarlane Toys, but then you have some more McFarlane, Baraka, and the Tekken guys. Some random diamond, diamond collectibles, I think, Hulk, and the Gears. Of war represents Mortal Kombat. Yeah, this is uh, I think like most of the Mortal Kombat releases so far from again Storm Collectibles. So I don't have to add anything more else. We got another mishmash of Figma and Dion's characters. You got Terry from Fail Fury and uh, Virtua Fighter and uh, a whole bunch of weird stuff. And then we got the wrestling figures from SH Figures, which I kind of moved over here. Because I don't like them as much anymore, but yeah, in the back he also got some Mesco toys, Mortal Kombat figures, just to add some more of that. Moving on to Street Fighter V from Storm Collectibles. Uh, the main thing about this one, I think it's funny, like the early Storm Collectibles Street Fighter figures. Like, look at these, look at these reviews over here. They are a lot smaller, I feel like. Like, the newer figures are a lot more bulky, and they kind of just upscale it at some point, so it's just kind of... Kind of a weird thing, but uh, also they were a lot more dirty. There was a lot more like paint applications on there, but you know how it is. Also, they came with bases, which uh, they kind of forgot about that. Next up, we got the Street Fighter 2 lineup from the same line of figures or like Ultra Street Fighter, Hyper Fighting, or whatever they call the line. It doesn't matter. On the left, we got an amazing birthday gift by my buddy Sabo, the Salamander's Intercessor from Bandai. And in the back, you got the McFarlane one, but yeah, Salamander's Intercessor is amazing piece. And Dark Side, and Dark Side, and Dark Side, and Dark Side. Are you sick of that yet? Uh, Bane. Dimitri, Doomsday, there's also Axel from Streets of Rage and the guy from World Heroes and um, and Darkseid, by the way. <laughs> now, just stopping. Also Goliath, just hanging out over here. Um, he fits in very well and I haven't decided yet if I want to get more Gargoyles figures or not. He does take up a lot of space, but you know, with the big guys kind of hanging out, it's fine. Then we got more fan service. The Bong Police is on the way. Hide your computers. Close your doors, but yeah. You got the underwear fairies in the back, which I call them. It was like Four Leaves, Tony's Heroines or whatever. I got Khalifa, which was another birthday gift by Zack. Darkness from, uh, I want to say Whole Life, but uh, it's a pop-up, right? And then these two random Dead Alive 2 old-school figures, which are... Um, yeah, they're old. That's what I said. Then we got some more girls. Girls, girls, girls. A whole mishmash of stuff. Which, by the way, very special shout out to this uh, Sword Art Online Asuna, I think, in like a cheerleader uniform, which was a gift from my mom and my sister. They know best. They know me so well. You got um, Pantheon Stocking. This one was like a random, I don't really remember the name of it. Lupin the Third and more One Piece in the back. A menacing looking raven figure. Willie demands some attention. Yoko and some girls from Bastard, the anime or the manga, which. I never really finished, unfortunately. Kind of just left it at it. But yeah, real love bastard and again Yoko. 
little bit of focus on that as I move down. And it's fate time! We got the gals in the lovely evening gowns, Mashu and Sabre. There's also Random Bulma and the Capcom gals. There's the Samurai Brides, the main character I don't really remember, but I do remember my favorite of the show is Yagyuki san in the back over here with the beautiful sword and the great outfit. And Imu! That's my girl Nero in the beautiful, amazing rat outfit with the roses. Also, there's like a random stocking in the back. I mean, panty. Then we got the Kazumi Shrine, one of the most important parts of this entire tour because Kazumi was my first waifu. You know, the fine waifu, that was the first time I actually used the word waifu when I played DOA 2, so she got her own shrine, obviously. As I move down to, oh my god, I don't even know about this one. There's so much different stuff. Um, shout out, special shout out to, to this Little Mermaid one because the Little Mermaid was actually the first movie I ever saw in theaters. I was like three or four. And also on the right hand side, we got this garage kit, which was put together and painted by my buddy Steve from the Fancy Box. Special shout outs to him. And in the back, you got Ayane, Yumin, and Urza Scarlet. Then there's like no more heroes or whatever. Uh, Ryuko in a swimsuit, and a dead alive girl in a swimsuit, and Bullman in a bunny suit, and Poison Ivy, because the name is right there. No issues here. And uh, yeah, we got a little bit of spicy stuff I cannot really show you. Second X, Minase, Shizu, look it up, so yeah, I cannot show you that. But we got another mishmash. Uh, here we got some more birthday gifts um, from Zack. Uh, blonde girl, booby girl. Ah, uh, those are mostly old figures, but still good, as I want to, you know, honor those. And we're moving on to some super heroines. You got the Darkstalkers girls, some more X-Men. There's Nami in the back, which goes with the same line I had before, but that shelf was, you know, there wasn't any room. X-32, Psylocke in the black outfit, Santa Claus in the back, Armika, and Alice Madness Returns. That was the game I played. Tekken! The Tekken girls from the B Shoujo line again. I think that was the name of it. My girl Jury in the back, an old school Maishi Renoi in the front, Samus Aran, and this weird Ivy. Because, I mean, it's thick and nice and everything in detail, but look at this face. I don't like this face. It's so boring. So freaking boring. But this, though, is pretty good. Speaking of pretty good, yeah, Vanessa, um, showing a little bit more than usual. And we got Zophisia from Soul Calibur 5, 6. I don't remember which one it was. Then we got the Castle Crash, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Oh my god, I love these brawler games. And this one was one to perfection. SH figure arts, Naruto figures, Naruto, with the Ranma and a half on the right side of it. I think I got everything from Ranma uh, as far as we go for Naruto. I only got the figures I care about, and I guess Sasuke, because I don't really care about Sasuke. <gasps> Tragedy! I cry about it. Anyway, yeah, I don't care. Then we got some more magical girls. Uh, this is where that starts. Sailor Moon, the original releases. You know, they have like a lot of other releases after that, but you got the crystal one and the basic set of all the Senshi, the main Senshi, but there's more of that. You got some card captors, Sakura, got some um, in the back and in the front. And yeah, here's by the way the outer Senshi. And uh, Queen's Blade, Queen, I forgot her name, but uh, Big Bobas, the Imposter Sailor Moon, and back to the Card Cap Sakura. In the back, you got the SH Figure Arts versions, you know, the pink one and the yellow one, but the rest of them are the releases by Figma, which a lot of people like a lot more, and I agree with it. Got some more Ghostbusters, the return of Mr. Stay Puff, this time in the giant version, backed up by his, well, not really buddies, enemies actually. He got the Ghostbusters from Hasbro, based on the original movie, and there's also like a random chandelier. We got a bunch of these random Pokemon minifigures standing around. You will see more of those, but yeah, another shot of the Ghostbusters, amazing work on that. As we shift in gears into Persona, you never see it coming. It's the entire lineup so far. I don't even know. Have they anything else announced? I uh, just kind of like, I don't know. But yeah, uh, all the Persona Figma figures so far. i um, really proud of those. Really happy with it. Big fan of the game. As we move on to Power Rangers or Super Sentai, depending on who you ask. These are all like the SH Figure Arts ones, which are the best. I don't care. Lightning Collection is great, but these ones are my favorites. And also like... The Gokaiga stuff. Yes, I have watched some Japanese Super Sentai because Gokaiga was freaking amazing. Absolutely uh, made everything better. And 
as for the rest of it we got a bunch of red rangers because i was really want to focus on the reds on the leaders because they you know sh figures they made some complete lineups of the team but some they didn't so i was just like i'm just going to get the reds and go say night because go say night is awesome love it and i believe this area is actually new i don't think i had this in previous videos of my collection um this is a new edition we have the batmans on top batman regular batman batman beyond and superman is weird armor i'm wearing my armor we got another mini pokemon figure with the balloon and Mimikyu. and we also there's master chief just chilling in the back as he does uh, we got some more Halo stuff. We're gonna have a wall talk like a snow wall talk. And on top, there's a chopper and a ghost. Kinda can't reach that right now because it's pretty high up there, but you know, whatever. Kinda kept that in the box because it's so small. And this is what I like to call the blue room. We got a whole bunch of sexy goddesses and succubus. Also, Killer Bee in the back. You know, Cammy, where we're really the old school Killer Bee in this stoic expression as she's one of the dolls. On the M Bison's control, I love this figure. It just like signifies that so well. And also, there's a Chun Li from the B Shoujo collection, Aqua in the regular outfit, and Aqua in the winter outfit, and obviously Morgan in the nurse outfit. But let's move on to Blaze, Light to the Dragon. Oh my God, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, if you watch the channel, you know that I love Yu-Gi-Oh. And I love this figure. I love this Kaiba from Figma and the Vulcan Lock Kaiba and this Vulcan Lock. Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, which I reviewed in ages ago, and I didn't know Alternative Dragon was a thing. And a lot of people were like, oh, you're stupid. And I was like, yeah, now I gotta say, you're right. Moving on to the only thing, obviously, after Red Eyes comes Blue Eyes. No, other way around. After Blue Eyes comes Red Eyes. Look at the detail on this thing. It's so beautifully done. I could sit here and gush over it for another 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep this video as short as I can. Uh, obviously, we don't have any Joey figures to go around with it because. Figma doesn't do anything, and um, yeah, I just, I guess it's just got here over here, because look, he has a black dragon coming out of his arm. That fits, uh, it counts, whatever. We got the premium Batman shelf, I would call him this one. I say it's premium because like these Batman figures are a lot more expensive. Um, the black and white ones from Arkham, and this on the right, I don't know what it's from again, but I just got that back in the day because... It was on sale, and it reminded me of the old-school Batman, which we got in the back from, I think, Mondo. And then there's the Play Arts Kai from Arkham. Batman Arkham. Well, that was like the Armored Arkham Edition or whatever. And uh, the Tetsuya Nomura design, as well as the old-school Batman, which I recently reviewed the Kotobukiya Kia statue based on the original. Also got this old school Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. Just hang out over here next to these all these gold boxes from Yu-Gi-Oh. There's nothing in this, but um, you know, we don't have the sound anymore because I'm dumbing this. Haha! -ha! Moving on to also my gaming collection. I know a lot of people probably don't care about the gaming collection, but hey, if I'm doing a collection video, I'm showing you everything. There's like PlayStation games, PS2, some more PS2, quite a, had quite a lot of these. I have quite a lot of these. DS, a bunch of different DSs and uh, 3DS, and also there's like the Japanese version of Pokemon Red and Blue, just got that for the collection. Very happy of that, I just you know, it's just, a, just something to put in there and not actually play. And also, I had like one of these customized Xbox controllers, which you got on the website, there's my name on it, the real pain. I really like the red on it. I uh, don't really know why I got the green, I guess because turtles and whatnot, but you know, whatever, it was my choice back in the day. And also, speaking of green, TMNT Game Boy, custom one I've, i found at the store and i just you know had to have it has like light up screen also as well but uh you know i just display it by the way there's like um dreamcast games in the back also if you've noticed marvelous capcom one of my favorites and some more dreamcast games down here and a bunch of random stuff and wii games some japanese nes games some nes games shifting gears to the modern stuff xbox 360 of course the reach edition and my n64 and my tv haha <laughs> and the controller but speaking of controllers yeah I, 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 got I got a couple of them a little bit just a little bit just you know i am in control what's in here more controllers also like a light gun for the sega saturn which doesn't even work on new tvs you gotta have an old one like this one Haha, <laughs> which is also equipped with uh, the Famicom and the SNES. And then we got some modern stuff. Xbox 360, uh, Tekken gamepads, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. And Xbox, original Xbox actually, 
Xbox 360, yeah, I got. If you can tell, there's a lot of Xbox 360, but also PS4 represent Game Boy games, and I got this like um, the swag, swagalicious Game Boy suitcase. Feast your eyes on that. Uh, but yeah, moving back to uh, the Xbox, Xbox 360. I already had a look at it, but you know, I finally have the door open, so let's close it back down. Here we got a fake Gojira figure, but uh, I got that one for my grandmother when she was on vacation a long time ago, so I still cherish it. Moving on to the Songbird from Bioshock, what was it Infinite? That was with the Collect Edition, and you got uh, the girl from NECA, which was not with the Collect Edition. Also in the front, we got another one of the Pokemon. Uh, it's a Pikachu riding a Butterfree, and in the back, there's Lego, which I don't really care about, but I don't know. Why do I have it? I don't know. Questions for another day, but here's the actual hardware for like the newer con I say newer cons, but yeah, this is like the PS4 and the Xbox One. And what is even in here? Some more collect editions. Yeah, I do not have the current consoles because I don't really care as much about it anymore. But what's in here? More controllers. Who would have guessed? Going back to the figures, you got the Master Chief and Cortana with uh, a little bit of a light up action in this one actually because it's all black because you wouldn't see anything but yeah there's like a, I think Cortable Kia, Master Chief, Cortana, a Goomba also in the back, Psycho Collectibles, uh, Scorpion for Mortal Kombat 9 I think, I'm not sure anymore, uh, cool design though and there's some fluffy dragons. But Psycho Collectibles, by the way, was like a company that sold these Mortal Kombat figures, had a lot more pre-order, uh, collected people's monies, and then uh, just closed down and screwed everybody over. So, yeah. I'm glad I got mine. There's Melina also, and Princess Kitana. And Ibuki, another entry in the uh, Capcom Girls collection from Street Fighter 3, as I move over to Halo Reach. The collector edition, The Rock, with uh, all of Noble Team. Except for normal 5, because you are normal 5, so they didn't make a figure out of it, I guess. And we have this nice bust of another Spartan design in the red. And as uh, my favorite Sailor Moon characters, Jupiter and Mars, which was like Figuarts Mini. And then these guys. I reviewed those a long time ago, but uh, these are like some Dragon Ball mini figures, which... The reason why they're standing around like that, I don't know. They keep moving. I don't know what's why that is. Maybe like the vibration. Maybe when I like vacuum clean and I kind of like I slam into here. Maybe. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I really don't know. Right on the other side, I have no lighting. Also, the light on my uh, I think the light on my camera is fading. Like this Blanca and Sagat are from Sideshow Collectibles uh, from back in the day, like, I don't know, this must be like over a decade. And this random Ryu minifigure was from like the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. Akuma and Goken, I don't even remember what that's from. And we got some Figure Art Zero, Goku and Gotenks in the Super Saiyan 3 because that form is freaking awesome! And then you got the uh, McFarlane Halo Legendary Collection, I think is what this was called. Uh, more like statue based figures, but still cool looking at the Master Chief. You got the Brute, Eto Brute, and uh, obviously the Arbiter in the front. Haha, <laughs> no Arbiter. And then Devil May Cry. Kotobukiya, Devil May Cry Dante from DMC3. And also you got Nero in the back. And another Dante from, I think, NECA? From Devil May Cry 2, I believe, was that. And in this corner, we got this lovely little Teenage Mutant Ninja display. I always, always wanted the display. You got like the cars in the lower half, and up here, you got like uh, whatever is, is left of the blimp. I don't have the big air balloon. We got some Os Usagi Yujinbos, some um, Mondo Geckos with the Jersey Devil, and some Canadian guy up there. Panda, some metal hats. Can't really reach that right now in this giant mechanical turtle. Let me see, there's like the new school metal hat. This angry freaking panda. I love this figure. Also very old one. Moving down to a bunch of foot vehicles. You got the drill, you got the technodrome, you got the mini technodrome. With Krang hanging out over there. Rock soldier and this weird kind of metallic foot soldier. Also some robots in the back, but you can barely tell. Casey Jones, Muckman. Well, that's more like Mutagen Man. Wingnut. And you got like, as you can tell, all these different incarnations of the figure. There's Armagon, Mona Lisa and the rafts like the baby raft the 2012 raft and the vintage one old school and the donatellos 
the April Neal's Sergeant Bananas just hanging out. Ugh, get it. Monkey brains. There's the Leonardo's and Ray Filet just hanging out in the back. We'll have a look at the back in a second, but I want to have a look at the front first. Michelangelo's, the baby ones, the regular ones, Splinter, new and old. And I move down to the slide where we got one of the punk frogs. I forgot which one it is, but uh, just a figure. It doesn't look like anything from the show. Bunch of future toys, couple of different versions. Leather hats, like the big ones and small ones. I also love how the transformation of this one. Moving on to the vehicles, I love the turtle copter, one of my favorites. Some smaller vehicles in the back. Then we have a whole bunch of other small vehicles and the van in the back from the 2012 show, which would later become the party van, where they attempted to recreate the old one, and you got this big truck in the back. Here's the old party van, by the way. I'm trying to go very fast over this because it's just like a lot. <sighs> ah, then we got some more Foot Clan hanging out, Shredder with his henchman B1 Rocksteady, Toka and Raza with the Foot Cruiser, that thing is just pimping up. And finally, there's the Rat King on this other sewer ride and another motorcycle. With another quick look at the back, we got the Lion King or Lionheart or whatever. There's Ray Filet in all of his glory and we also got some more vehicles hanging out in the back. Just And also these weird robots which we looked at before, but there it is. And I believe this is going to be the highlight for most of my viewers. Here's all the Figma stuff, but also Dragon Ball stuff. But hey, there's some new shelves over here, which I didn't have last time I recorded my video. So let's start over here with the Dragon Ball, mostly Ban Presto figures. You got the Goku cosplaying as Ruffy and vice versa. You got some Boos, some Apes, some Gotenks, because Gotenks is best character. My favorite, my opinion. Beautiful Joe minifigures and the Legend of Zelda, and we got another Pokemon figure. It's Charizard. Actually love the fire effect and whatnot, so yeah, big, big fan of that. Also, Charizard is my favorite. Well, not quite, but anyway. Fate, Figma, Apocrypha, right? That's the name. Uh, I kind of made like a little spot over here where I just to collect, where I just put all the Apocrypha girls together, give them some space because I feel like it needed it, especially with the surfboard and uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of still like a work in progress. I'm planning on doing more like that. More like where I put a theme and I put them all together and uh, make it look nice. And Apocrypha just, you know, it's cool designs. As I move on to the pop stars, we got Hatsune Miku and another, the pink haired is also Vocaloid, I think I remember. And uh, Supersonic, and my voice is kind of leaving me. I also like a Vocaloid. And down here, we got the Ginyu Force. As a figure out Dragon Ball Ginyu Force with the frog in front. Soon to be Captain Ginyu. Spoilers, by the way. But uh, yeah, these guys take up a lot of space, but I kind of want to pose them like that. And the rest of these shelves are empty. Uh, while I have this kind of stairs thingy, which sucks. Uh, it doesn't hold up at all. And also there's like uh, <clears throat> Marcus Phoenix from the Gears of War Collector's Edition. As I move on to Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z, you got the Piccolos, the entire family. You got some androids, Sal, and Freezers. A whole bunch of different versions. The golden one, the white one, and the guy who kind of... Well, he didn't really kill Freezer, but you know the drill. And as we move up, we got the Earthlings. Mostly like Dragon Ball and early Dragon Ball Z characters. With a uh, Hercule on the side, Mr. Satan. And Gohan, which doesn't fit with anything I just said. Well, he's not a human. He's half human, all right? Now, let's get ready for beef, big, beefy. Man, this is like the power chamber. I call this the power chamber because this holds some of the most powerful figures, big, beefy guys. And uh, yeah, one of my personal highlights of last year, Cooler. One, just this figure is amazing. Then we got the Boos, Boo with boobs, and then the other Boo with boobs, and the last Boo, who also has boobs. But yeah, just look at this face sculpt. It's amazing. These are some of the best figures, honestly, I feel like, in the SH Figure Arts line. And also, there's Arade. Because, I don't know, it just kind of fits. Just kind of fits with the theme of having, like, the strongest characters. And then gag manga character, which, uh, yeah. Moving on to Nappa. Obviously going with Vegeta! 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 Hey, Vegeta. Uh, yeah, we got all the Vegetas, well, at least all the ones I have. I think there's only some maybe exclusives missing, but, uh, you know, I can't have all of them. I try. You got Bulma with, uh, you know, the rest of the family. You got the Trunks. Trunks is my favorite character. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I, You know what? I'm just going to let this Trunks head go right now. Uh, there's Shenron. 
in the box because it takes up a lot of space being outside the box and it's just like you know it's articulated but it's not really articulated because all you're getting is the exact same pose on this box as such it doesn't really make any sense also here's Tao bye bye just hanging out it's flying up into the sky which um going well with this mew over here look at how happy it is oh my god kawaii this stop goku time go goku go goku go go goku go goku go 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 yeah it's goku's uh, a whole bunch of different Gokus. You got blue ones, you got red haired ones, you got more blue haired ones, you got the kid one, and there's the rest of the family. You got the silver one, you got the red one, you got his brother, you got his daddy, and the entire family is united. There's the fusions. I love fusions. I love Gotenks, and I love all the other ones as well. Just like the design wise and just power levels, and it's amazing. The concept, mwah, love it. You got some Gohans and a chichi which uh i am kind of wondering why i put that over here and not on dragon ball shelf but whatever there's jiren he's boring and i hate him no interest whatsoever hit it's kind of cool but his hand broke off stupid figure but you know the rest of it is pretty cool and then there's beerus one of the very few super characters that doesn't suck oh yeah i said it uh speaking of which um this guy and yeah, i don't even know goku black getting kicked in the face because that's what he deserves as I move on to happier things, it's Figma time! Wait, where's Jolter? Oh, she's still in the review space. Let me get her real quick. Here's Jolter! And Jolter! And Jolter! And actually not Jolter, but you know, she has like uh, silver hair just like everybody else. So it kind of fits right. Doesn't this look good? We got Gilgamesh, Merlin, and the entire cast of like um, thick, thick. Animu fights, yeah. The entire cast of uh, Gridman. Alter Ego, Okita Shoji. One of my more recent reviews with uh, Intimidating Presence. As I move on to uh, a bunch of random Animu figures, which I honestly don't remember the name. I think it's like one is Oraimu, but uh, yeah. Other than that, there's Penguins. Penguins! That's pretty cool. Mashu Kiriraito in the armored version. The Racing Girls. And the good old Lancelot Bazaka. We got more Figma. Are you ready? Are you ready for the Figma? And also up there, there's a giant monkey. And there's a nice little wooden board with uh, artwork from the original Dragon Ball, which was given to me for my birthday from Sora. And also, a Flygon. Look at him. Look at him, my happy is with the tornado behind him. Great little guy. Also, there's a... Uh, uh, that was another gift by a friend who I like. Um, I don't want to say the name, because I don't have nicknames. I, I have been using nicknames up to this point. But uh, moving on to Fate. More fate! Oh my god! I know you love it. You got the sabers. You got a male saber. Ugh. But actually, no, let me let me be honest. That figure is actually amazing. We gonna get a new Umu bright soon. I'm really happy about that. But here's like the original Umu in the nice royal red. Oh my god, I love her so much. Best saber. You can fight me on that. Um also, who's the best? This guy, Gilgamesh. I mean he thinks he's the best, but he's actually an ass. Tamamo, the uh fox caster and uh, in the front we got the regular okita shoji with saber on a bike which uh, i forgot the name of the bike but it looks badass got the red also got a doggo because we all love doggos but uh really got saber altar and then the other saber altar i think it was a different class but you know it's saber altar saber altar saber altar in the back which looks kind of crap compared to the new one but you know whatever saber lily saber lily without armor the original Saber, Arturia, King Arthur, Altia, whatever you want to call her. Don't be like... <laughs> there's like multiple names. Also, there's a Fate Zero Saber in the back. Saber in a swimsuit. Saber about armor. And Saber sitting down eating rice. That's the favorite, right? A Sakura. You got Imiya in the front and Imiya in the back. Whoops, spoilers, I guess. Uh, you know, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Uh, Skatach, there's also Lancer. And uh, what was this? Like a... Uh, more master type characters from fate grand order i don't remember the name it's a girl and it's a boy so there we go moving on to rin which uh you know i was always a big fan of rin she's sexy she's spunky and uh nice kind of tsundere it's all right we got mashu best girl i feel i don't know she's so cute fantas moon and this stupid piece of garbage in the back you know why you're in there you know why you're in the back you stay there and also Ilya's model, by the way. Moving on to uh, a bunch more mishmash. This is kind of like a still work in progress. I don't 
I'm not really happy with the way I displayed the Demon Slayer character, so that's definitely something that needs some work. Um, also, there's a random like anime Catwoman in the back from like the Batman Ninja. Only got the Catwoman, didn't care about Cat uh, Batman. There's like an Animal Girl and like the uh, Frame Arms, I think. You got the Sniper Girl and the one with the big gun. And also, there's like a princess sitting on a ship, which uh, that's you know I'm just gonna describe it if I don't know what it is. Moving on to Kill La Kill. The entire gang. We got also Aqua in a swimsuit. We got Lolly in a swimsuit. We got Darkness. We got X Explosion. Yeah, Megumin. I know the name. And Aqua and Kazuma and some fairies. And uh, not a fantasy girl, which I don't remember the name of, but has a cool design. So that's why I got her. It was also pre owned, I think. But yeah, look at it. Also, big boy boys. That's what we like around here. Some good quality fan servers. Speaking of which, yeah, over here. Over there, right there, also like the adult version is even better in that regard. But uh, we got the fan service, we got some Haruhi figures, very, very old Figmas, um, down to the beginning. And there's some Ikitozen also on the side over here with the, who's that in the back again? I don't remember her name, but she has a doggo, it's cute. And then Vanilla and Chocola from the Cat Girl Maid Cafe. Mwah. Speaking of cat girls, here is Cat from Gravity Watch, which is not actually Cat, but you know, I love the design, never played the game, and I know a lot of people love Gravity Watch. Uh, shout out to the community, but um, you know, just love the figure. Also, Ulala and Silent Hill Nurse, and the entire cast from Boku no Pico Academia. Yes, that's what I call it. <laughs> it's a joke. He's a joke. Overwatch. Overwatch. Um, the lineup for Overwatch is also kind of a joke. Where's the rest of it? Where's the rest of it? I got all the ones that they released, except for Soldier because I freaking missed it. Nobody told me about it until like one day some random guy was like, oh yeah, they recently released Soldier. I was like, they did? Really? Ah, and I really wanted Soldier. That's my main. Yes, I'm lame. Anyway, Berserk got the main character Guts and the traitor in the back. Also spoilers, uh, Goblin Slayer goes very well with, the, uh, with Guts. Genus in the back, as along with Saitama and the entire gang of Hunter x Hunter, also old figures. And there's Death from um, Black Rock Shooter, you got the White Rock Shooter, you got a blue haired girl, and the entire cast, well, entire girl cast, well, the only girls we got from Figma, from Evangelion. Also, there's a uh, Ghost in the Shell in the back, and big, big titty Honda, something, something, we don't remember, but she's angry. There's another idol with an umbrella, 300 and some girls with the same school uniform i don't remember what they're from but they're cute and they have cats i love the cat part oh my god such a cute accessory also she plays the violin and uh yeah this one's also cute kawaii and then some more ghost and shell but kawaii ghost and shell speaking of kawaii here are my lucky star figures which is also an old relic as term as far as figmas goes but yeah lucky star was one of my favorite anime way back in the day just it's so weird but it's so funny in a way just like you know, random, lol, random, right? And also, there's uh, the main character from Eurocamp, which uh, in my review I told you that you can display her with the blanket and still have the mega regular figure. But I love the blanket; it's so cool. But yeah, there's still the regular one, cute, amazing looking. Moving on to Tanya the Terrible, I think Tanya the Evil. Some Toho girls. This weird, weird kind of like Ewok in the front. I just, yeah, some people call it an Ewok. I don't know what it was. Yu-Gi-Oh characters and Kizuna Ai. Along with some more fantasy magical girls, don't remember the names. This cat girl with the axe and the giant bobas, this pink girl, and Kaguya Luna. And actually, as like a big fan of uh, of VTubers, I just gotta give a, spe a special shout out, shout out to Kizuna Ai having a break, and Kaguya Luna actually not even active anymore, which is a bit sad. But you know, gotta move on as we move on to Halo. Well, back to Halo, I guess. This one, I keep them in the box because. Uh, McFarlane toys Halo figures are great and amazing, but they don't stand very well. So we got the Master Chief from the package, which was like an Ani move. Ha Halo 1 Master Chief, Halo 2 Master Chief, Halo 4 Master Chief. Uh, what? Was free? Well, it was the same fucking armor as 2, so, um, you know. The Power Rangers Legacy Morph, a nice little accessory as we got also some Yu-Gi-Oh cards over here. Berserk Gorilla, shout out to Sora, again. And a random mishmash of mostly collected editions, like this was from Duke Nukem Forever, this one from Batman Arkham Origins, I believe, with a Pokeball. Cool stuff. Injustice, there it is, says right there. There's a random seal, shout out to Nene. Bioshock, the little sisters, that was all from NECA and the Bioshock figure, the big daddy. 
is from the game. Got Pink Yoshi, Looney Tunes, and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Mortal Kombat, I think that was, what was it, 9 again? It was like the American version, the American Collector's Edition, because the European one sucked! And we got Alucard from Castlevania Symphony of the Night and uh, Maria, which was like a random find on eBay like many, many years ago. I think they were from Konami, but you know, great looking. I'm so happy I found those. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is indeed time. It's TMNT time, which is, uh, you know, I love TMNT. I know a lot of you people don't care about it, but it's my passion and I... I do have a lot of figures. So first, we have these size from RAF, real metal size, and it's really nice and sturdy stuff. You got these little Hot Wheels mini figures, then the NECA arcade game turtles, Shredder, Slash, and uh, Max Stockman. As we move up to Super Seven, all the good guys combined. We have some more bad guys in another shelf, but uh, this is the start of that, and we got the animated villains once more rat king alligator whatnot you know again well if i name everything like if i name all of these things like i'm gonna i'm gonna just die i'm gonna fall over and die my voice is already dying so you know here's some more turtles ha 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 no but seriously uh on the left hand you got like playmates turtles which were like released in like 2007 i think they're kind of rare and that's why i'm missing donnie because he can go up to like 2k or more and i think these guys were actually released from good smile like, also, a long, long time ago, but I love, love, love the dark design. Really stands out. Really made some unique look for the turtles. Just like, kind of the movie turtles back in the day. Like, look at these colorful guys. They got the movie turtles, you got, like, the new movie turtles. And also in the back, you got some like, these big ones. And he's coming out of their shells. Ah! The love-hate relationship with these will never stop for me. Speaking of love-hate, well, I actually, I think I hate these ones a little bit more. The Playmates movie turtles in the back. I'm just focusing on those right now because they're pretty wonky. In the front, speaking of wonky, the next mutation. That was a good show. No, it wasn't, but I still like the figures. Oh, hi, Venus. Everybody loves that figure. Um, and also you got like the Shogun ones and there were also knights in there, but yeah. I love the Shogun ones. This one also from the third movie because we have, we're, I'm thinking because we have other Shogun ones coming up and, ah, oh, yes. Yes! Speaking of movie turtles, Perfection. I bring you Perfection. Well, I don't bring you. NECA has brought us Perfection. I'm, you know, I can gush as much as, as much as I want, but just look at those. Look at how nice and accurate they are. You also got the Mirage Turtles in there, you got the Baby Turtles in there, and these are like some of the best ones. That's why they're kind of having like their own area over there. As we move on, to those were customs which i bought on ebay green lantern well more like lantern turtles all with their individual color represented i thought the idea was pretty cool so i picked them up we got the fast forward turtles which fast forward was awful again but the designs were cool as same thing we got with the wrestling turtles that was a crossover i actually really really was excited about and as you can tell i also made some room for the power Rangers turtles which which i have been reviewing recently Moving up to sports, got the turtle games, which were like Olympic and a whole bunch of sports turtles from the vintage line. But if you look in the back, we also have some from 2003, which were like extreme sports. So lots of sports going on, which uh, has nothing to do with Star Trek, for example. That, oh my God, what a crossover. Star Trek and TMNT, who would have guessed? Some heroes and the dark turtles in the back. The only good thing, that came out of fast forward i love these guys and if we're going upstairs here's the master splinters all the different versions different incarnations different years and swing to the right what he got april o'neill a couple of casey jones but mostly different incarnations of your girl april o'neill and above this entire cabinet we also got some funko pops yeah, I don't really like Funko Pops and I kind of just like talk bad about it sometimes, but you know, back in the day, I was really hungry for TMNT figures and everything that got released, I, I had to pick it up. So I also got the Funko Pops. I mean, they make up the space, the, the empty space between the floor, the roof and the cabinet. And also here's this cool looking Hot Wheels party van, which was also a gift from Kim. Shoutouts. Uh, I really gotta find a better spot to put that one, but um, just kind of lying over here for now. 
On to cabinet number two. This is like mostly turtles. This is always like four sets of turtles with uh, not really anything else. We got, we still got the villains coming up. Don't, don't tune out already. But all the way down to this one, which uh, holds some of the ugliest abominations. Well, the 2018 turtles, I don't really like them, but they're, I guess they're okay. But you know, you got also the Michael Bay turtles in the back. You got these weird mutation turtles in the back there, space turtles, and just like repaints and whatnot. So you know. Not really the most glorious aspect of the TMT, but still, I mean, I like the Robo Turtles in the front over here. Those are cool. Then we got Space Turtles, and uh, speaking of weird, look at look at that. Look at just, oh my god, these expressions. <sighs> ay, 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 ay. Okay, we got Ninja Action Turtles, we got Space Turtles, we got Ooze Flinging Turtles, we got some more Ninja Action, this time from the 2003 variety. We got Leo in a space suit, which, um, they always just all look the same. And the Paleo Patrol. And some more ninja action also in the back. After another mishmash, a whole clash of stars. You got the Dark Turtles in the front, like the weapon mutations on the right, and like the all the mutations over there, which where, why are they wearing clothes? I don't I don't get it. In front of them is the mix and matched, and we got all the way up in the front and hats hats dropping ones. And then the regular mutations, which all just turn into little turtles. And also the punk rock versions which like donnie's getting another version of that in the next super 7 wave i'm excited about that one and we're gonna stick with mutations for a little while longer you have like these weird playsets also in the back and the baby turtles which just have a, a charm to it i don't know then we got another gift from a uh, birthday gift from kim which was from uh last year i think this is the what was the name again it's uh it, it's on the on, on my tongue like the q Q-Fig, Q-Fig Leonardo. Yeah, love the design of this one and the whole kind of like little sewer diorama he has. Like really, really great looking figure. Color scheme, whatnot. Mwah. Absolutely love it. And then we have the car mutations. Yes, turtles turning into cars. Nobody else has ever done that. Pfft. Yeah, you got the comic book turtles, the Jim Lee comic book turtles, Japanese turtles in the armor, the Japanese turtles looking like Super Sentai in the back. Got the Mystic Turtles in the front and another more Japanese style. As we move over to the, the these are actually the, the Samurais which come in the gold and silver. I have all of them in gold and uh, I couldn't find Donnie in gold, so unfortunately. Then we got the other Samurais from like 2012. The Super Samurais or Silver Samurais, I don't know, like the big armor dudes. I love them to death. Then we have a lot more of a basic area. As you can tell, you got the basic turtles, you got the comic book turtles, you got the Toon Turtles in the front and moving down to the side we got the 2003 turtles with the comic book turtles in the back from playmates these guys which were like a lot more colorful the toon turtles and also the ones in the back like from 2003 i forgot the name of it but i love the extra design and the exaggerated face sculpts which are just amazing gotta love it look at mikey sticking his tongue out and yeah back to these ugly colored comic book turtles it's like what's up with this color Ugh. And don't come at me, bro. Oh, it was like that in the comic. It wasn't. Stop it with the lies. But anyway, here's the caveman turtles coming with dinosaurs. So good. We got some more playset turtles in the back. Yes, these come actually apart and uh, make like a little playset for some mini figures. So I don't really care. I just want the figures. Then we got Metalhead, Michelangelo. And in the back, you got like a pterodactyl. Donut Leonardo, actually. Like a gargoyle pterodactyl. You got the monster figures from 2012 and also kind of mixed up. As you can tell behind them, you got the Universal Monster figures from the Vintage line, which I only have Wave 1. I never got Wave 2, and uh, that's kind of hard to get these days and expensive. And of course, if you have monsters, you gotta have Ghostbusters in the back. That was a great, great mashup that they did for the Turtles not too long ago. We have a little bit more dinosaurs over here with Michelangelo as a Triceratops, then you got Stealth Turtles, Army Turtles in the back, Beach Turtles, and some more. Well, these are like the 2003 Army Turtles. And then there's like also Army Turtles from like the vintage lineup. And uh, Costume Turtles. Like the early, early, very first attempt at making Costume Turtles. Which uh, was amazing and followed up by the, like the kind of Halloween episode Turtles in the back. And then we have these weird kind of Predator Mask Turtles. Which I still don't know what's up with that. But it looks cool. So, you yeah. know. And then I give you some of my personal favorites, the Mondo Turtles. I love the combination of giving you more comic book, darker style turtles, but also holding on to the 
action figures. Like mostly with the coloring of the guys. So you got like the bright for Wrath and like the more brownish for Donatello. Really giving you that nostalgia feel, the nostalgia fuel that I really appreciate. And also there's the giant old school turtles in the back. They're missing their weapons and their belts. So, you know, they're kind of they kind of beat up a little bit, but um, that's why they're being hidden in the back behind the beautiful Mondo turtles. Also up here in the box, we got the four turtles, which was like, I think the 2012 re-release of them. I just wanted to have a set of turtles in the original box, of course. And having the original one would have been much cooler, but I don't. So there are some Aprils also, which do have the original box, and a golden turtle for the fifth anniversary. This is not a playset, and these are the loyal subjects, turtles, dark turtles. With some more NECA stuff in this area over here. These were like the STCC exclusive. You got the versions based on the cartoon and obviously the versions based on the video game with the pixel arts and uh, you know they would re-release those I'm just saying though that's why I have two sets of them you, know, you already had a look at the uh, pixelated turtles and here's once again here's another set of uh, cartoon turtles now the emblem is a little bit different than from what we just looked at but you know also coloring colors are a little bit off well not off but you know just different and I picked them up also there's Michelangelo in the Batman outfit <laughs> Just funny. And not to forget the SH figure arts turtles in the back, which I love to death. Unfortunately, that line kind of flopped. And also, you have the mini ones in the front Mondo Gecko, Punk Frogs, Mass Splinter, Metal Hat, Vern, April, Casey Jones, and this little guy who's like the friend of Mondo Gecko. So, close the door on that one. Oh, now we barely see him. That's kind of mean, but you know, gotta make up some sacrifice. There's like the Targon turtles. I don't have. The thing anymore to make them talk you need like a like a some plastic thing you just kind of pull that through and then they talk but you know don't have that also they're old they might not work anymore and then in the back there's like the i think the hero cross or whatever yeah i picked those up because they were cheap but uh they look okay but uh, barely move around and it's kind of whatever speaking of kind of whatever yeah this shelf in general is just like uh yeah what is what's even this what is this? You got the Dimension X Michelangelo, but I don't know what's up with these armored guys, so I'm just gonna move on from that. And move on, we do, right into another highlight, actually. One set of turtles I don't really talk about as much, and I think people in general don't really do. It's the Revolt Tech 2012 turtles. And it's like the only time that somebody looked at the 2012 turtles and they made like a collector's line of it. Like more highly articulated, highly detailed, and I still highly value them as such. Down below we got some more weird stuff. We got scuba diving turtles, which is like the turtles. Why the hell do they need scuba equipment? Ugh. Anyway, also got the talking Michelangelo in the back and like the pizza throwing uh, Raph and Michelangelo and also like the talking Leonardo in the middle. And I don't like that's from shadow turtles and like beast catching turtles. I yeah, your guess is as good as, good as mine. Turtles have everything. You got these colorful guys over here and like Donatello in like some sports gear also in the back. This is a bubble hat Raphael, which I think is from NECA, which was also a birthday gift from Sora. Shoutouts as usual. Speaking of birthday, there's a birthday Leonardo and there's some next mutation guys on skateboards and some model kit turtles. Very simple. Are you guys in the mood for some turtle soup? Because we're gonna have a look at the bat guys. First and foremost, the NECA Mirage. That was also an SCCC exclusive set, I think, like Shredder with the Foot Soldiers. We got the 2003 Shredder with some Foot Soldiers. And then in the front, you got the Cartoon Shredder with a Foot Soldier. And some more guys on the side moving over to quality stuff. We got this non-licensed Shredder, this Oraku Saki, whatever his name was. Looks good. Great presence. And we got some more NECA exclusive packages. We got the arcade in the back. And then the regular shredder, the cartoon shredder. And then there's another foot soldier with the 2012, the premium shredder, with some more foot soldiers. After that, I want to have a look at them boys. No, not the Briscoes. That was a wrestling reference, by the way. But no, b -Bomb and Rocksteady got the Playmates one and the NECA ones. The NECA ones are absolutely fantastic. Got the baby shredder and the mouse as well. Super 7, these guys have size. Uh, fist pump that. Kind of proud of this little like display I made here with the one foot soldier. Yeah, I just got one. Back Stockman. And Mutagen Man, all Super 7 related. Then, got some more Rhinoceros and Warthog. B1 Rocksteady in many, many different forms, like 2012 form, 
and then you get like the warriors you got like, the mutations in the back you get the minis you got the revised 2012 version you got the army versions you got the movie versions that's the only good thing that michael bay movies ever did was these guys in the back I actually look amazing speaking of amazing oh my god let me gush over this real quick just mm, yeah okay i'm done um, um. beautiful you got the giant shredder the small shredder from NECA with the weapons on there you got super shredder <sighs> it's all movie stuff by the way you got took and raza perfection these little mouses and the big guy this was also like sideshow collectibles i think like this thing is huge unfortunately his claw is a little bit bent over there that was like somebody must have effed this up i wasn't i didn't even do that but i just noticed it at some point i was like great cool after that come the uh the weird shredders i'm just gonna call it like you have the whole bunch of from dino shredder from like this pink shredder who's kind of lying down over there also there's like um karai in here like down to the side like the mini karai the snake karai in the back and like the 2012 karai up there as well with it and this shredder with this trunk head and like the claw shredder the japanese shredder shredder with multiple arms and there's like this is a mix and match shredder super shredder the painted shredder and like as this like movie shredders or the next mutation shredders i don't even know There's so many freaking shredders it's hard to keep up with it let's get some more villains in here a uh, little bit more variation you got tiger claw hunt in the back dark pound what a name fish face in two color variations and a whole bunch of backs assortments with his weird head in it in the front you got pizza face backs to fly the rat kings you got like the the rat king in the back and one weird thing with the hat which kind of covered up by the by the wings of baxter slash one of my personal favorites and like many different variations and some weird aliens triceratons mutagen man yeah you name it and for the lower area you guessed it more villains toka in this weird kind of like uh, mutations and some villains from the 2018 show the salamander and yes scratch one of the rarest figures i'm really really happy i got that one back in the day still was like 80 bucks but i got it so that's all that matters you have this weird kind of the beavers the shogun the bats in the back dirt back ground shock snake i i'm running out of names anthrax the worm hot hats scumbuck this weird kind of vampy vampire girl the dragon king from next mutation bruh i love this guy though savanti romero what a chat what a badass but we're not done yet because i have these things these nice little cubes that uh that's a pretty relatively new uh, i got chrome dome from the NECA version you got some alien soldiers the rock soldiers granite and track and some more triceratons in all of their cartoon glory speaking of glory glory to crank you got the big crank from NECA you got the unlicensed crank you got the little crank crank and the walker and the movie crank which also looks fairly solid and we got the digimon slash playstation corner with your favorite spyro the dragon and crash bandicoot from NECA metal garurumon this unlicensed tongue mong um gallant mon which is like the the x version which is like a little bit more robotic armored stuff great looking and war Greymon from bandai and right after that comes the wrestling which uh you know i picked up some wrestling figures um i'm gonna start to get probably more only the ones i care about that's why i made up some space over here but yeah i've been happy with the AEW figures look at the nice shiny bells zero miedo don't forget Darby Allen and Penta, the boys. Also up here, we got like some mint in box TMNT figures. Uh, I actually kept those when they came out. Uh, down there, we got some Saint Seiya, Knights of the Zodiac. You got Iki, you got Pegasus, you got Athena, and the weird guy in the back from the anime version that nobody likes. But hey, he still looks cool, so you know, don't hate. On site, right next to it, we got the Hello Kitty Turtles, which is like, I, I have no words for that. It's Hello Kitty Turtles. What more do you want me to say about it? No, I can't. Street Fighter, there's some more Street Fighter, yes, because I also collected the SH figure online, which is like, honestly it's not as good as Storm, but I like Street Fighter, and I kind of got into it, and at the end I was just like, yeah, keep rolling with it. Anyway, Master of the Universe in the back, just a whole mishmash, you got the Dolph Lundgren Mass of the Universe figures from Super 7, I love these, but it's kind of like, 
heresy that the only Master of the Universe figures I own are those ones. But, you know, I love it. I, I you know, it's more for the meme. We got 2B, Thomas the Tank Engine, Spike, and the Pervert in front over here. Yeah, this Woody. This Woody. He's holding his Woody. Lepan the Third and Fujiko Detective Conan. And we got Masahiro Chono, Freddie Mercury, this weird robot from the Automata. And the different two versions of Bruce Lee from SH Figure Arts. And Atrocitus' Cat from the Red Lanterns. And after that, whew, I'm tired. We got the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider. You know what? I'm not gonna name all of them once again. They look cool. I picked it up because they look cool. I actually haven't watched Kamen Rider, so I'm a fake fan anyway. Uh, you know, cry in the comments about it. I don't care. They look great. And that's why I picked them up always. All of them were pre-owned always from Ami Ami, so I got them at a decent price. So that's fine. Looks great. We got the DC collectibles, or it was like minifigures that you got with like a comic book or whatever, all the way back like a couple of years ago, and I just got the Batman once, and that was that. And I have one final room to cover, and uh, it looks like trash in here, but yeah, it is my storage room, so don't be alarmed by that. Here's some more games, by the way, if you care about the games, there's also some boxes, but yeah, games, games, and 64. I got a bunch of those up there, and as I move down, there's some GameCube games, there's some Sega Saturn and Sega Mega Drive, and uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh boxes, and some DVDs off to the side. I bought this lighter Pikachu at a flea market like years ago. It's actually a light. You got the um, white Ranger helmet, which uh, my, my fat hat doesn't really fit in. Then you got the Master Chief helmet, you got Titanus' anus, <laughs> and the box, Pandora's box. From God of War, Sega Mega Drive, uh, Sega Saturn that was, uh, PlayStation 3, Dreamcast, and some cards, some sleeves, some demonetization sleeves, demonetized, there you go, look at that. We got the fan service, even when we're playing card games. You got another one? Yes, it's even worse. Like, let's, let's, I'm just gonna stop. Too much, too much. Wee -wee -wee -wee. I got Monopoly, but I only got the Monopoly because for the collection. I got TMNT, Dragon Ball Z, and Sailor Moon Monopoly. I'm probably never, I, it's, I never probably play Monopoly, but you know. Just got it for the collection. There's some more Dragon Ball figures from like Ban Presto. They just hang out over there. There's Titanus, Titanus, whatever its name is again. Some boxed EV Illusions, uh, Mario Party Championship, if you remember that. Uh, shout outs to you guys. But um, yeah, boxes, 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 boxes. We actually also have some figures though in here. And this is like my old Play Arts Kai collection. Now, why are they here in like the storage room? Because. Ah, uh, well, some of them are a little bit broken, like, got the Chun-Li in the back, which has, like, I'm not gonna take it out of the way, but anyway. Uh, yeah, they kind of, like, busted up a little bit, and they're old, and I've had them standing around for ages, you know, and I wanted to make room for something new, but I'm also a hoarder. Yes, hoarder. Just, I'm saying this correctly, right? But, um, you know, I, I wanted to keep them anyway, so that's why I'm displaying them over here. So, you know, you can still have a look at it. This is Mr. Jensen, by the way, in the corner there from uh, Deus Ex, which was another gift from Kim. Big, big shoutouts to him. But yeah, there's like the Metal Gear Playouts Kai and some random stuff. Also, I got my old Beast Wars figures. Uh, most of these are old. Some of these I bought off eBay for nostalgia purposes. But, you know, when Beast Wars happened, I still watched it, but I was kind of too old. I was, I think I was still teenager after all kind of too old to buy figures that's why i did i only have like a couple of random ones but you know still want to display that and then here's like the soda street fighter figures yes yes more street fighter figures like i don't have enough of those but you got also transformer street fighter in the back which is kind of weird but whatever and that's the more transformer street fighter and the big beast wars beefy guys in the back which are like combiners that just looks weird anyway there's also some manga, Yu-Gi-Oh! manga, some more boxes, some more boxes, and boxes. Also, there's some comic books down there, but who cares? Like, I, if I show you every single thing, like, at least I recently organized my boxes up here. Like, look at how nice this looks. <laughs> but yeah, I um, recently spent some time to reorganize this stuff. Kind of put it all together. Didn't leave any gaps. There's all the Figmas and some Storm Collectibles. I say all the Figmas, but that's not even all the boxes. Here's some Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sleeves, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tins, Yu-Gi-Oh! Decks, Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Decks, Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, binders, of course, and some more boxes. And yeah, I think we're nearing the end. Here's some more manga, some more random figures. I still have actually Knights of the Zodiac in there if you uh, if you get the peek on that. I'm going to review those at some point. And yeah, 
There's actually some more figures. Oh, well, okay. The Halo Joy White ones in the back. And in the front, you got like the um, Killer Instinct. I don't remember the line, what it was called, you know, the who made them. But, you know, I just like Killer Instinct. When it came out, I was a big, big fan of it. Played it quite a bit, so I was happy that we got figures. Even though these figures aren't that great. But anyway, you know, the Joyride. Joyride Halo figures are cool because, like, you have the visor. And up here, guess what? More Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I have a problem. I have an issue. And speaking of which, we all have a problem if this ever happens. Yes. Eva01 with the Millennium Puzzle. It's over. We're all gonna die. Okay. Uh, more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and the red optimus primal which i kind of reviewed but then i deleted the review because it was boring it's a non-transforming transformer which i do like but whatever but yeah that's about it i finally we've finally done it over an hour long is my review space by the way with all bunch of stuff and some more boxes michelangelo i don't know if i ever reviewed that one but you know he's just here for size comparisons and here's a spoiler by the way of some stuff i might review or might I already have reviewed by the time we watch this video but yeah that's gonna do it what's this Battle Axe, Golden Axe, and like, yeah, this nice little playmat for some fan service, but enough. So that does it. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big props to you. Applause. You're great. I love you. Mwah. Thank you very much once again. If you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for our figure views, card game stuff, and whatever we want.